me repeat it again. Bante, to my limited knowledge, there are three ways to practice uh, breeze, breath meditation. Uh, there may be many more. These three ways are first, northern, second, southern, which you have explained, and the third one, watching the rising and falling of the abdomen. We have explained yesterday, we don't need to repeat. Can you fully explain uh, the pros and contras of each method? What should we consider when uh, choosing a method? Is one more difficult in attaining samadhi than the other? It is a very good question indeed, and it should be answered carefully. Hmm? Uh, the uh, Uh, meditation uh, method depends, of course, on what are one's need. Hmm? The, uh, according to one's need, the meditation uh, object is chosen. So if one chooses the uh, meditation on breath, it is chosen especially for the purpose of bringing to appeasement the uh, many, many useless thoughts. Hmm? For that, the meditation on breath is perfect. Now, the meditation on breath is also uh, perfect for uh, stabilizing the body and making the bodily posture perfect. There are many references to this even in the scriptures of Southern Buddhism, but they are not being taken very seriously. So, uh, when you go to Burma or to Sri Lanka, you will find many meditators, even on in breath, on the Anapana meditation, they are sitting like sacks of potatoes. Hmm? Uh, this aspect becomes very, very clear if one chooses the Chinese method. And I myself believe that this Chinese method is the uh, more authentic one. That means paying to the breath, uh, attention to the breath in the whole body. We have explained that the third exercise of uh, mindfulness of the breath as in part of uh, the mindfulness of the body is uh, sabakaya patisamvedi asasi samiti sikhati sabakaya patisamvedi pasasi samiti sikhati I breathe in experiencing the whole body I breathe out experiencing the whole body hmm? in the Theravada tradition it is explained as uh, experiencing the whole body of breath at the anapana nimitta touching point. Hmm? And experiencing also the whole body of the mind and of the uh, body, uh, karmically created body attached to the breath. All experience here. Now, in the Chinese method, it is taken literally. Actually, uh, in Abhidharma Kosha, also Yogacara Bhumi Shastra, it is explained that the body breathes through each and every pore of the skin. Hmm? And it should be experienced.
actually each and every cell of the body is participating in the process of in-breath and out-breath. This uh, breathing through the whole body is uh, called the subtle breath through the pores of the skin. And it is especially clear in, as we have explained, in the in-between breaths. Hmm? So, as opposed to the southern tradition, the northern tradition pays attention not only to in-breath and out-breath, which is called the gross breath, but also to the subtle breath in the in-between in-breath and out-breath and in-between out-breath and out-breath. And this becomes the main object of the meditation. We have already explained uh, the first two exercises, being aware of the long or short breath, is explained as when the in-breath is short, the in-between in-breath and out-breath becomes long, when the out-breath is long, the in-between, in-breath, out-breath and in-breath becomes short. In this way, one follows the breath. If one pays attention to the in-between breath, then one enters deeply into the process of sublimation of the breath and mind. In the Theravada uh, uh, tradition, this process of sublimation of the mind and breath is explained at the Anapana Nimitta. Hmm? It is there that the Shamatha Nimitta appears. Now the advantage of the uh, Chinese method or the method of the Northern Buddhism is that by following the breath in the whole body, you become aware of this supporting function of the breath. So, what you can do is, actually, when your uh, concentration becomes more powerful, you can channel the prana, prana is inseparable from the breath. You can channel the prana where you need it. Hmm? So you can get a very clear understanding of the different channels in the body, of the different uh, energy hmm? chakras energy wheels, Ti, Shui, Huo, Fang, Lun. And you can use, as in Tian Tai tradition, you can use this uh, experience for healing, for uh, uh, using the prana. Hmm? You can uh, uh, do a lot of things because the prana knowledge is a very important part of yoga and that method is close to the prana knowledge. Now, the advantage of the Theravada method is that because this in-between breath is rather a subtle object and very difficult to concentrate on, unless you already have a good concentration. Uh, to develop concentration, it is uh, uh, most of the meditators, especially those who have not studied yoga, find it much more easier to concentrate at the, uh, uh, the in-breath and out-breath near the nostrils, because it, uh, the touch there is uh, very clear. Hmm? 
and it is easy to fix mind. So the process of sublimation then appears uh, there. Hmm? Of course the whole body and mind participates in this process of sublimation, but the emphasis is on the anapana nimitta, the touching. Hmm? We have already explained the uh, mastery of shamatha is explained in the northern tradition by three stages, counting, following and fixing. In the Theravada tradition by four stages, counting, following, touching and fixing. So the process of touching becomes a process of fixing. Hmm? Because you learn to touch the in-breath and out-breath always on the same place. Hmm? You make the experience of the breath very pleasant by not paying attention to the breath in a big too big area, not too small area. Then the mind becomes easily fixed. The Chinese tradition or the northern tradition is very close to the Indian tradition of yoga. In the, the Indian tradition of yoga, the main part of the meditation on the breath is also the in-between breath, between the in-breath and out-breath and between the out-breath and in-breath. The difference is, as Abhidharma Kosha explains, that there is a tendency to control hmm, this process through the will. But very often there is misunderstanding of the Hindu yoga on the side of Buddhists, and again the uh, Buddhists misunderstand the Hindu yoga. Hmm? The Hindu yoga also it, uh, actually, it is only the beginning stage to control the uh, pauses between the in-breath and out-breath. In the higher stages of concentration, it is also done uh, rather by attention, not by force. In the northern method, it is done by attention from the very beginning, by paying attention to the in-breath, in-between breath. Hmm? The in-between in breath becomes more and more clear object. When it becomes a more clear object, the gross in-breath and out-breath becomes short, shorter and shorter until it becomes practically almost invisible. This is how one uh, goes into samadhi. So the process of sublimation takes place rather in this in-between periods, not in in-breath and out-breath. And it is in this in-between periods then, then the uh, study of prana becomes very rewarding. Uh, okay, I will not explain in detail. Uh, let us go to the second question, which is written in Chinese. Hmm? Uh, it says the Yi Chie Shi Lun, the Yoga Chara Bhumi Shastra, hmm? written according to Chinese tradition, uh, s exposed in Chinese tradition by Bodhisattva Maitreya himself in 
Tibetan or Indian tradition by Asanga, hmm? Wujo Bosa. And it says question number one Pu Ju Ru Jen Fa Ku Pu Yin Nien Fa Er Nien Yin Nien Fa Er Pu Nien. Did I explain clearly? <laughs> okay, you read it. You read it and translate into English. Hmm? This is classical Chinese, so. Uh, Uh, in Chinese, first, Bu Zhu Ru Zhen Fa Ku Bu Ying Nian Fa Er Nian Ying Nian Fa Er Bu Nian. I think it, what it means in English is because of not knowing the the real Dharma. No, not the real Dhamma. <laughs> Omidhamma. <laughs> Ru means uh, suchness. Hmm? Suchness, okay. Ru zhen fa. Because uh, not, suchne, not knowing suchness as the true reality. Hmm? Okay. Because, because not knowing the suchness as the true reality. Bu ying nian fa er nian should not should not be mind uh, think based on the dam, uh, dharma uh, the, 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 <laughs> not the dharma I'm sorry based on the phenomenon should not think. No, no, one okay. should uh, 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 think or, uh, uh, or recollect the phenomena, uh, in fact, not recollecting. Hmm? Not, this is a meaning. Hmm? While recollecting, actually not recollecting. Okay, I will explain. <laughs> you better give it to me. It is difficult to understand unless one has studied Buddhism. This is explaining the practice of the Bodhisattva. It comes from the explaining the Bodhisattva Bhumi, Bosati. Uh, if one, uh, uh, due to the reason of not knowing hmm, uh, suchness as being the true reality, hmm, uh, uh, one should not uh, recollect the phenomena, uh, but uh, one should uh, recollect the phenomena in the sense of non-recollecting. Hmm? What does it mean? It is very important to understand. We will, next week, hmm, I will try to, if we have time, I will explain the practice of the shamatha leading to the realization of the Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi, the highest uh, realization of the Buddhas. Hmm? Uh, it is very important to understand. Now, just very briefly, hmm? uh, what is the practice of the Bodhisattva? The Bodhisattva, according to the teachings of the Yogacara Bhumi Shastra, practices also the four foundations of mindfulness. It is the main practice of the Bodhisattva, also the 
37 causes of enlightenment. He also practices the Four Noble Truths. But uh, the difference between the Shravaka and the Bodhisattva is that while the Bodhisattva recollects these objects, while he is practicing the four foundations of mindfulness, hmm? he contemplates the body as something that cannot be reached. He contemplates the feelings as something that cannot be reached. He contemplates the mind as something that cannot be reached. He contemplates the mental objects as something that cannot be reached. We are uh, reciting every morning the heart of the Pragya Paramita Sutra. This is a meaning, this is a practice of the Bodhisattva. These objects are there. But their true meaning is emptiness, suchness. So he should also bring to mind, recollect, the, uh, uh, contemplate the, uh, the four noble truths. But he cannot establish himself in the four noble truths. So he gets, the Bodhisattva is one who gets the, also the knowledge of the Shravakas, hmm? but he does not establish himself in the knowledge of the Shravakas. If he establish himself in the knowledge of the Shravakas, he will uh, uh, turn away from samsara and go to nirvana. Hmm? So he will not attain the Dharma body. So what to do? So he is recollecting in mind these objects. He is contemplating. Nien means also contemplation, meditation. Hmm? He is meditating on these objects, but he does not meditate on them in the sense of making them something real. So this is the same in regard to the attention. Attention is that which drives the mind towards the object. When the attention is Juli uh, Zoi, Yoni Somanasikara, the attention based in reality. Then it is a wholesome state of mind. If it is not based in reality, in impermanence, suffering of impermanence, then it is unwholesome attention. The uh, Bodhisattva, however, learns to use the wholesome attention so that he does not establish himself anywhere. Hmm? This is his wholesome attention. So, he, in this way, he contemplates He sees the impermanence of the body, but he contemplates the body as something which cannot be reached. If he contemplates the impermanence of the body, he will turn away from the body. But he wants to know the body thoroughly, he wants to know the mind thoroughly, so he does not want to turn away.
This is a meaning. Hmm? Uh, so the other question I think we have already explained yesterday. When practicing breathing in and out, focus on nose, the concentration on the focus seems to be enlargement, <laughs> getting bigger and nose getting maybe bigger and bigger. <laughs> so this is a wrong attention. <laughs> the uh, Nose is not the object of uh, concentration, <laughs> but the breath. Hmm? I want to know if it is normal or does it need to adjust? It needs to adjust, of course. <laughs> Remember now, if you have con concentration, I never tired of explaining Concentration is like a microscope or magnifying glass. Whatever you take in, uh, in uh, the magnifying glass becomes a big object. So you don't want to make uh, useless objects big objects, you want to make u useful objects big objects. So now let us recite the Metta Sutta. <coughs> Namo tasse bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhase Namo tasse bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhase Namo tasse bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhase Karaniya matta kusalene yantang santang padam abhisameche Sako uju ce su ju ce su vacho chasse mudu anatimani Santu sako ce su baro ce apaki cho ce salahu kavuti Santindrio ce nipako ce apangabo kule su ananugindo Nachakudang samachare kinchi yene vinu pare upavade yung Sukino wa kemino hontu sambe satta bhavantu sukitatta yeke chipana bhutati tasava tavarava anavasesa dighava ye mahantava majima rasaka anakatulla dittava ye va aditta ye chedure vasanti avidure Bhuta va sambhave siva sabbe satta bhavantu sukitatta Naparo param nikumbete na atimanyete katanchinam kamchi Biaro sana patighasanya na anya manyasa dukam micheye Mata yata niyam putta mayusa eka putta manurakke Evampi sababhute sumanasam bhavaye aparimanam Mettancha sabbalokasmin manasam bhavaye aparimanam Udanga doce tiriyanche asam badam averam masapattam Thittan charan nisinnova sayanova yavatassa vigatamindo Etam satim madittaye brahmam etam viharam idam ahu Dittincha nupagama silava dasanena sampanno Kame suvineya gedhang nahijatu gambaseyang punare titi Etena sacheva jena hotute jaya mangalang Ete na sache vajena na santu sabu padava Ete na sache vajena sabbe roga upasamentute 
ఆకాసత్తా చబుమ్మట్టా దేవా నాగా మహిదిక పుణ్యాంతం అనుమోదిత్వా చిరంరకంతు లోకశాసన ఆకాసత్తా చబుమ్మట్టా దేవా నాగా మహిదిక పుణ్యాంతం అనుమోదిత్వా చిరంరకంతు దేశన ఆకాసత్తా చబుమ్మట్టా దేవా నాగా మహిదిక పుణ్యాంతం అనుమోదిత్వా చిరంరకంతు నంపరం ఏతావతాచామేహి సంపదం పుణ్య సంపదం సభ్యే దేవా అనుమోదంతు సభ సంపతి సిరియా ఏతావతాచామేహి సంపదం పుణ్య సంపదం సభ్యే భూత అనుమోదంతు సభ సంపతి సిరియా ఏతావతాచామేహి సంపదం పుణ్య సంపదం సభ్యే సత్తా అనుమోదంతు సభ సంపతి సిరియా భవగా ఉపదాయ అవీచి హేతతో ఏత అంతరే సత కాయ ఉపపనా రూపీ అరూపీ చ అసన్యాసనినో దుఃఖాపముచంతు ఫుసంతు నిభుతి ఓ